Hello, thank you for joining me. This is going to be part five of our walk along the River Misbourne. I've just come down to Higher Denham. This is a road called Broken Gate Lane. It goes up to Tatling End, which is between Giles Cross and Denham. You can't actually drive all the way up it. Um, it becomes narrow, becomes a public footpath in the middle, but the top end of it is known as Broken Gate Lane, which I think is a really unusual name for a road, and I wonder where it got its name from. That's the River Misbourne. Here it is, or here's one course of it. So we've got one course here, flowing directly under the lane and down there. The next course we shall find just up here. So where we are now, this is higher Denham. So um, we're gonna be walking all through Denham village in this video, but higher Denham is where the railway station of Denham Golf Club is. It is just up, up there above the houses. And right down the other end of the village down there is the Martin Baker's factory, which makes the ejector seats. So although it's not a particularly big place, it's got um, quite an important factory in High Denham. But the station is called Denham Golf Club because originally when they built Denham Golf Club station, it was for the golfers. There would have been no houses here at all. And now it's quite an unusual thing for a golf course to have its own. I think Denham Golf Club is the only golf course in Britain to have a railway station named after it, so um, quite unique. We have been to Denham Golf Club Station. Have a look at this video coming on screen now. That um, was when I did do a video at Denham Golf Club. So we're coming up to the second course of the River Misbourne, just here. Some very nice back gardens there, where their back garden literally ends at the river. And then if we look on that side, the river flows off. There's a public park just round here. I've had a look round it. You can't see the river at all, really. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to walk up there. And there's a public footpath which runs along by the railway. I'm going to walk along there to Denham. So let's go up there and find it. So I'm now walking on from Higher Denham to Denham along this public footpath. River Misbourne runs out along there somewhere. You can't see any of it really between High Denham and Denham. There's also a road which runs along there called Slade Oak Lane, but it's very narrow and cars come quite fast. So, so I'm really pleased they built this footpath because it wasn't always here. I remember as a child, this footpath wasn't here. And I remember when it opened and you know, I was really excited to come for a walk along here. And um, when it's not too overgrown, we are right by the Chilton main line and um, the track is literally just there so if a train came along now obviously we'd see it but not sure when the next train is due so I'm going to continue on walking and when we're next going to see the river it's going to look quite different so um, yeah when we get to the end of here you shall see what I'm talking about I'm about to find the River Misbourne again. I've been walking for about a mile and a bit away from the river. I'm just walking along now beside the North Orbital Road, but where I am, I'm on the older course of the road. That's the newer course of the road. I'm not sure exactly when it was built, but I'm gathering by the masonry of this brickwork. Um, even the new road is quite old, but here we have in front of us, this is the old road bridge. There's the new bridge over the River Misbourne. So not a great deal to see on that side, just the other bridge. But have a look on this side. I told you the river was going to look a bit different. Well, how's that for looking a bit different? This is Denham Place. It's a was a stately home. It's private now, so we cannot go into the grounds at all. But there is a lovely big stately home in there with grounds and this really is the only bit you can see so what I'm gonna to have to do now I'm gonna carry on in that direction I'm gonna walk round to Denham Village and I'm gonna appear at the other end but at the other end you'd almost never know that there'd been a lake it would be going back to the smaller river we've seen most of the course and back at High Denham so I'm now gonna let you see the lake again and I'm gonna walk round to Denham Village I've come around the other side of Denham Place. This wall you see, this encircles the whole 
dead and place estate so um, you literally need to follow the wall from where we were a moment ago just keep following it and you'll come to Dedham Village. I've done this walk pretty much all my life um, so I've always enjoyed coming to Dedham, always enjoyed seeing the river here in the village which we shall see in a moment and then how it had changed so much at Dedham Place. Now this building here this is Dedham Village Memorial Hall so it's like the village hall. Now if you think you've seen some of this before in my videos that's because we're for a little bit we're going to retrace our steps from when we did a video of where we explored Denham so if you want to watch that video it's links coming on screen now and that um, tells you more about the actual village rather than this one we're following the River Misborn and it just sort of appears here the river from the wall with Denham Place being in there the river literally just comes out of the culvert down there and then we've got a course of river follow it flowing along here beside the road and there's another course up there so the lake I think must be somewhere over there so whether this is a separate spring I'm not sure or somewhere from what you can't see from the road the um, there's another course that comes off the lake to flow along here so if anyone has been into Denham Place and knows the sort of layout of the river please do comment and tell me because I've always been intrigued by this bit how there are two rivers here in Denham. When I was little before I understood like about which way it flowed I just thought it kind of came along here wound off it's under the fence and then reappeared there but I've since realized you know it's all flows in that direction so we lose sight of this section of river there and then the river flows under the fence and somewhere up there that would join up with this course here which we are about to see so this is where the village becomes really attractive you've got all these lovely cottages and weeping willows are nice and it's, it's just a really attractive village it's been on various programs it's been in midsummer murders and um, because there was then TV studios quite a lot of films were filmed here so here's the other course of the river so this is the one I think um, behind here comes from the lake we saw around the other side so it goes under the humpback bridge this is a house there called Misborn Lodge and it flows off off down there so um, we now lose sight of the river I'm going to walk around the village and I shall show you another really attractive section of river further round the road. So I've just walked all the way round through Denham village and we are just coming up to what I think is one of the most attractive sections of the River Mistbourne and it's just here, it's the old mill at Denham. Now, if we look over the wall, it reveals itself. You've got two houses with a river in the middle of them. So have a look over here. This is what I think is one of the most attractive sections of the River Mizbo. So the river, as you can see, flows through the old mill and then on that side of the road, it disappears off through the trees towards Denham Country Park. So what I'm gonna do now I'm going to walk into Denham Country Park and uh, we shall follow the river on its final course up towards the confluence with the River Colne. I'm now following a footpath from the old mill house which is taking us into Denham Country Park. The river's just running parallel here and there's a bridge so we can cross and we'll see a more open section of river. So here's a very kind of closed in section with trees and bushes each side flowing nicely though a lot of water but then we have this bridge and now on this side of the bridge it's in complete contrast it's it's open it's you know you can see it all it's um just a really nice section of, of river it's across a golf course and then it goes into the woods over there which is Denham Country Park so what we're going to do is um I'm going to follow the path around um, well, there's two ways I can go. I can either go that way and then I end up going right around the back of that lake or I could go um, where those people with a dog are. I might go that way actually and um, we shall follow the river 
on up towards um, through right through the middle of Denham Country Park and um, in a way it's becoming a bit of a shame because we're so close to the end now we're only about half a mile or so away from the end of the River Misbourne so let's follow to the end now So here we are in Denham Country Park. I've just followed the river past the main centre. There was a lot of people having picnics, so I've walked on through that section to here where it's a bit quieter and it's a really nice section of the river. It just drifts through the trees, very nice and calming feeling. It's not long though, as I've already said, I'd say if we've got a quarter of a mile now till we get to the River Colne. I'm not sure if we're actually gonna find the exact confluence because it might be in woods, but we're gonna get as close as we possibly can to the confluence with the River Colne. So I'm leaving the main area of Denham Country Park right now, and there's cows everywhere. They seem very calm and you know, quite just happy resting in the sun. The river flows along over there underneath where that pylon is so I'm going to aim for that corner over there and that is where somewhere around there is the confluence with the River Colne which we've been walking for towards this whole series. So here we are towards the very end of the River Misborn and this is a section of the river I've never seen before. I've had to come through all these woodlands to get here down these paths. So the river curves off round there on its final meanders and then the River Colne must be just over there through the woods. So um, whether I'm going to be actually able to find the confluence I'm not sure but what I'll do is I shall aim to get downstream on the coal downstream of the confluence on the coal and that's um so we can sort of you know see where the river would have ended up i've now got to walk back down this um quite nice path and um, i'm going to go over the river coal and um keep looking till we find the confluence or as i said as near as we possibly can get to the confluence well i've come out the little woodland where we were we were just in there and this here is the river coal so what we'll do, we'll walk across the River Colne. It's a much um, bigger river, very nice and clear. So the confluence of the Misborn must literally be just behind that weeping willow. So we'll keep walking on towards the Grand Union Canal, which is just up here, and then um, we'll keep going and see what we find really. So we're going to go down um, this boardwalk here, and the canal is going to be just up here. So. We're soon, as I said, we're soon near the end. So here we are beside the River Colne. The River Misborn Confluence is just round the corner here. And here is the Grand Union Canal. Now, looking ahead, where I'd looked on the map and where the confluence is, it looks like it's going to be, well, that I can't actually take you to it because it's behind this field here. And it says, well, there's a padlock on the gate. It says private land, so I'm really sorry, but unfortunately I cannot actually take you to the confluence. It's just down there. So what I thought we'd do, we'll just um, take, you'll have to take my word for it. It's literally about there somewhere. That's where the confluence is. And we shall leave with a view of the Grand Union Canal. So I hope you enjoyed this video and the whole Misborn series. Please do feel free to like, subscribe, tell your friends. Thank you very much for watching from Denham Lock on the Grand Union Canal. Goodbye.